Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you to Finance Watch for organizing this event. As many others, I know you are impatient to know when the Commission is coming forward with a legislative proposal to ingrain sustainable business in EU law. We are finalizing the initiative and aim at presenting it for college adoption this autumn. We are working on a mandatory initiative because we need to go beyond voluntary initiatives as you may discuss in your second panel discussion today. We saw this clearly in the studies we carried out. Secondly, if the European Union doesn't legislate, there is a risk of fragmentation in the single market. Three member states have adopted legislation, France, Germany and the Netherlands, in 11 member states, there is a movement for mandatory human rights and environmental due diligence. Without EU rules, there could be a range of different demands on businesses, and we need to avoid this. Our aim is to reach our overarching sustainability objectives, including embedding environment and human rights in the supply chains. There has been more than a decade of actions consistent with the United Nations guiding principles on business and human rights. We would like to close this decade with a strong proposal on sustainable corporate governance. The aim of the proposal is to foster sustainability in corporate decision making and help companies become environmentally and socially more sustainable. To achieve this goal, we will work on EU-wide rules on corporate due diligence. This would aim at enabling companies to identify and mitigate risks of adverse impact in their own operations and value chains. In addition, we intend to clarify the duty of directors to pursue long-term value creation. We will also ask directors to design a sustainable strategy for their company and manage sustainability risks. We are also looking into how a future due diligence duty could be aligned with internationally recognized human rights and labor standards and or international environmental commitments. This initiative will contribute to the achievement of EU goals such as the 2050 Climate Neutrality Objective and the EU's Biodiversity Goals. To effectively enforce the rules, we are looking at civil liability and supervision by administrative authorities. We want to take into account all the contributions from stakeholders, such as Finance Watch. We receive almost half a million responses to the open public consultation. We want and we need to hear every voice. This is why it takes time. We want to design a balanced and effective proposal. At the same time, legislation alone is one piece of the puzzle. Voluntary initiatives alone are not enough, but they can achieve progress. This is why the Commission supports voluntary initiatives like the Open Pact for Sustainable Industry or Green Consumption Pledges, which we launch in January this year. To achieve meaningful results on the ground, what is also required are strong accompanying measures. Compliance needs to go hand in hand with practical collaboration to have a real impact on local ecosystems. We are looking into how best to support this effort. Lastly, you ask whether sustainable corporate governance creates opportunities for business. The short answer is yes. We know from our own research that customers are willing to spend more on products which they know are sustainable and ethically sourced. It is also a wise investment choice for businesses. Last year, for example, researchers found evidence to show that businesses that invested in sustainable corporate governance saw a milder drop in stock prices during the pandemic 
than those who had not. Thank you once again to Finance Watch for hosting this event today, and I wish you all of you a good conference.